Hello and welcome to another episode of Ubi Vlog. Let's dive straight in and see what's been happening this summer. We are just off the back of the inaugural Ubisoft experience in the UK. We had so much going on, there's barely time to tell you everything. But we had panels with developers, community leaders, esports stars, and even the voice of Alexios himself, Michael Antonakos, who I like to imagine dresses in full Alexios garb 24-7. We also had hands-on with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Roller Champions, and a Watch Dogs Legion theatre. Not to mention 30 plus years of retro gaming, cosplaying, and so much more. But in the meantime, our next stop for events is Comic-Con in South Africa. You can get hands-on with Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the Xbox One stand in Hall 3. Speaking of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we have a new Breakpoint 101 introductory video to give you a breakdown of what you can expect from launch. Let's take a look. Ghost Recon invented the open world military co-op genre. This year, its creators bring you Breakpoint, and this time, there is no briefing. You are in the boots of a fully customizable special operations soldier sent on the most dangerous and challenging mission yet. Survive in hostile territories as you take on elite soldiers who were once your brothers in arms. Be ready for a fight of an unprecedented scale that can be played solo as well as in co-op with up to four players with a huge PvP mode available at game launch. Welcome to Aroa, an idyllic island nestled deep in the Pacific Ocean, filled with a rich variety of biomes and exotic locations. Can you believe this place, man? This is where visionary engineer and entrepreneur Jay Skell chose to build the headquarters of Skell Technology, his high-tech development company that aims to eradicate food shortage and poverty through the advancement of artificial intelligence and autonomous drones. In Breakpoint, you are facing a new enemy, one that comes from your past. Former Ghost Lieutenant Colonel Cole Walker realized the military potential for Skell's work. Data mining, target identification. Leader of the Wolves, a powerful U.S. Army Spec Ops unit gone rogue, Walker has taken control of the island with one intention in mind. Create a new world order using his new, relentless army of reprogrammed killer drones. In his hands, these wonders of engineering have become lethal hunting tools. The world's only hope rests on the Ghosts, a special operations tactical unit sent in to stop the Wolves. But as former Ghosts themselves, the Wolves already know everything about them, and they're waiting for you with their teeth bared. This thing is big. Explore a breathtaking open world with your friends as you can seamlessly jump in and out of a game. The co-op experience for up to four players offers the freedom to select missions and the opportunity to carry a shared progression throughout gameplay sessions. As a ghost, your main missions will be to eliminate the wolves' menace, track down Walker, and save the people of Aroa. But this is only a small part of what you'll need to do to claim the island back. Ghosts will have to take part in missions including rescues, sabotage, and helping the islanders and Skell employees all over the island. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. And as you'll be in full survival mode, you need to adapt to the various terrains. Gear up accordingly and use the prone camo feature wisely. This new feature lets you blend into the natural setting like never before, giving you an incomparable edge when you need to hide and do stealth takedowns. And don't let the name fool you. Ghosts are human and they can be incapacitated by their injuries. You can heal yourself using useful items with resources collected in the environment. This is where the bivouac comes into play. This brand new feature for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint lets you prepare for an upcoming fight, craft new equipment, customize your gear, and even change class. That's also where you can invite other friends to join your party for a true four-player co-op experience. With the different character classes, you get to choose how you operate against the wolves. You've got Assault, the frontline soldiers, sharpshooters, snipers that no one ever sees coming, panthers, stealthy close quarters specialists you don't want to mess with, and medics who control medical drones. Better yet, each class has its own progression system that you'll unlock as you successfully accomplish your tasks. When you start your campaign, you can choose one of the game's models, or you can handpick every unique aspect of your character for a truly customizable experience. 
The gunsmith menu is where you'll upgrade your weapons, as well as fit them with a nearly endless supply of parts and add-ons. There are various customizable weapons in Breakpoint, and they can all be tailored to your playstyle, as well as a wide variety of vehicles, from buggies to cars, bikes, boats, helicopters, and more. PvP modes will be available at launch using the same shared progression as in the single-player campaign. You can keep building on the same character, with the same gear, weapons, ranks, and skills, no matter the game mode you choose. This is the brand new Ghost War, an intense 4 vs 4 experience set in maps designed especially to enhance the multiplayer experience. The incredibly realistic terrain features, the shrinking combat zone, and Breakpoint's brand new injury system adds even more depth to this already exciting and highly tactical game mode. And this is just the beginning. The Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint experience will get even bigger with raids. Set on a new island you can explore, the brand new hardcore four-player co-op mode is fully replayable, adapted to all playstyles, and completely free. Top-notch communication and fighting skills are required here. Only elite players can actually manage to pull it off right up to the last boss battle. Are you one of them? Also starting at launch, new faction missions will be available every day. These missions bring more elements of lore and provide various objectives to support the factions as they evolve. New classes will also become available, such as engineers, masters in hacking. Besides, you can expect additional content to expand your experience as new episodes, like Deep State and Transcendence, will be released throughout the year to continue the game's story. Also, keep an eye out for new DLC and live events, which can let you unlock new characters, missions, activities, various unlockables, and even battle against the infamous Terminator. You certainly don't want to miss out on the updates. So embark on your hardest mission yet, deep behind enemy lines, and show those wolves that ghosts are never afraid. In Assassin's Creed news, we had the announcement of the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection for the Nintendo Switch, which brings two hit titles, Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Rogue, all into one tight little package. But not just that, we have an important update for Assassin's Creed Odyssey with the Ancient Greece Discovery Tour. Much like the Ancient Egypt Tour in Assassin's Creed Origins, this allows you to explore the ancient world in a no-pressure environment. Let's have a look at what you can expect. So the Discovery Tour Ancient Greece by Ubisoft is a mode where you can explore the whole map of Ancient Greece without any pressure, without any conflict, but you can really go and explore and learn everything you wanted about Ancient Greece. The way we're working on creating the Discovery Tour is that we're looking at all the work that has been done for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, all the historic research that has been done in the background. Then we're working with historians. They are writing the, these tours and making sure that what we're telling players is the most interesting, but also the most factual things. So you have 30 tours in the Discovery Tour. You can choose them from five different teams. At the end of each tour, your guide is waiting for you, offering you to take on a lighthearted quiz. These questions are super accessible, they're meant to be fun, but to challenge also yourself to make sure that you've been paying attention. So we've been paying attention to the community, we've been paying attention to what teachers have been telling us. We're adding more experiences of exploration. We're really embracing rewards and challenges. Whenever you're doing tours, you're going to discovery sites, you're being rewarded. These rewards are avatars and mounts. You can play as different historical characters or even fictive characters from the main game. These are all exclusive to the Discovery Tour. Tomorrow, the Discovery Tour is available for free to all Assassin's Creed Odyssey owners on all platforms and also as a standalone format on Uplay PC. And finally, Trials Rising has unveiled its new Crash and Sunburn expansion. Here's what you can expect as Trials heads into the Southern Hemisphere.
Now, in the last episode, we gave you the chance to win Ghost Recon Wildlands, and here are your winners scrolling across the screen right now. To claim your prize, you can email me at mattfisher at ubisoft.com. I'll include this email address in the description of the YouTube video below. And once we've verified that it's actually you, we'll get your prize sent out to you. And with that in mind, it's time for another giveaway, and it can only be Ghost Recon Breakpoint itself. We have two copies to give away on either the PS4 or Xbox One. If you're watching this on YouTube, all you need to do is leave a comment below, but let's spice things up a little bit this time with a question. Deep Dish Chicago Pizza, yes or no? We'll pick two winners at random to be announced on the next episode. And if you're watching on Facebook, head over to YouTube on the link in the description for your chance to enter. And as always, terms and conditions can be found in the description below my face. So that's it for another episode of Ubi Vlog. Stay tuned for more information on the latest releases. Make sure to subscribe to our Twitch channel for upcoming streams, and I will see you all next time. Chicago pizza's not pizza. It's just not.